In this video, I'll teach you the fastest method for creating a master project so that you can quickly set cross-project dependencies. You know, in Microsoft Project, it can be a bit of a challenge to create cross-project dependencies. By that, I mean to set a dependency from a task in one project to a task in a totally different project. In this video, I'll show you the fastest and easiest way to do that. So let's get started. The fastest way to set cross-project dependencies is to create a temporary master project. However, before you can create that master project, you need to open each of the projects in which you want to set cross-project dependencies. For example, I currently have three projects open. They're the Component 1, 2, and 3 development projects. Once you've got your projects open, then do the following. Click the View tab to display the View ribbon. And at the far right end of the View ribbon, click the New Window button. In the New Window dialog, select each of the projects you currently have open. Also apply the Gantt chart view if that isn't already selected. Then click the OK button. Microsoft Project will automatically create a temporary master project with each of the open projects inserted as a sub-project. Holy moly! After you've got the temporary master project created, then you can go ahead and start setting your cross-project dependencies. For example, I want the Design 1, Design 2, and Design 3 tasks to happen in sequence because I need the same design team assigned to each of those tasks. So what I'll do is I'll select Design 1, press and hold the Control key, select Design 2, select Design 3, I'll release the Control key, and then in my Customize Quick Access Toolbar, I'll click the Link the Selected Tasks button. By the way, if you haven't customized your little Quick Access Toolbar, please look at my previous video that tells you how to do that. Once you've set as many cross-project dependencies as you need, you're going to do the unthinkable. You're going to close the temporary master project, and you're not going to save any of the changes. So I'm going to close this project, and you're probably thinking, no, Dale, no, don't do it. <laughs> But when I close the temporary master project, lo and behold, the cross-project dependencies are now set in each of the open projects. So, for example, in the Component 3 development project, you can see that there's an external task, a.k.a. a ghost task, that appears in this project. It's the Design 2 task, which comes from the Component 2 development project. You can see that gray Gantt bar. That's part of the ghost task or external dependency. That's what's driving the task Design 3 in this project. So that's the fastest way to create cross-project dependencies. Once you've closed that temporary master project, all you need to do is save and close each of the open projects, and bing, you're done with the process. Well, even if you're a very experienced project manager, I hope you learned something new in this video. If you did, please consider subscribing, and if you do, remember to click the notification button so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Also, if you found benefit from this video, please share this channel with your friends and fellow project managers so that they can benefit as well. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.